Serious, what is the scariest thing to happen to you when you've been home alone? I was probably 9 years old. My sister was 6. We had a babysitter who was 12. So alone in the sense that no adults were around. Jackass that I was. I squirted bug spray on my sister and she chased me in retaliation. I ran through some French glass doors to get away from her. She went for the and missed. Her arm went through one of the glass panes. She cut herself so deep. You could see muscle, tendons, and bone. It looked like a shittily cut piece of raw meat. Since that's basically what it was. The babysitter held a piece of cloth on my sister's arm until my mom came home, called her right away, and took my sister to the ER. She didn't hit an artery so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. But it was scary as at the time. Got 60 stitches out of it. It was about 8.30 at night and I heard the front door open. I called out from my room asking why my mom and dad were home only a half hour after they left for dinner. I almost my pants and straight up jumped out of my bedroom window when a random male voice replied. What? There's somebody in here? Turns out it was somebody who got hired to check on one of our neighbor's dog when they were on vacation and he got the wrong house address. But the raw fear that gripped me when I heard his voice still gives me nightmares. It was a hot summer and my parents went to a wedding. I had a project to do and it was like 1 am and silent until a random drunk dude crawled in through my window with a bottle and blush face. I was 20 feet away at my desk from the window and we both just stared at each other. He was flustered and said, oh sorry their kid wrong house, and attempts to leave the way he came. He was drunk and dizzy so I helped him by pushing him out the window. I thoroughly shut it and stared at it for two hours until my parents came home. Someone tried to break into my neighbor's house while I was babysitting their kids. I was 15 and I used to babysit for my neighbors down the block. They had a really nice house. Three floors with a built-in garage under the house. That connected to the basement. It was the family's most used entrance of the house and they rarely locked the basement door as long as the garage was closed. They also had the type of security system where anytime a door opens you heard beep beep beep. After the parents left one night I was putting the kids to bed and I heard the beep beep beep. I yelled out. Thinking it was the parents coming back for something but no one answered. The system on the wall kept reading basement door open. I was freaked out so I called my dad and asked him to come by since he was only a few houses away. When he arrived, he told me to stay in the kitchen while he checked the house but before he could. We heard the beep 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 again and then the garage door opened. When we ran to the window to see if the parents were pulling into the driveway. They weren't. Instead someone in a hoodie was running out of the garage door and into the woods behind the house. My dad ended up calling the cops. I'm still creeped out by it. I was in my basement where the computer was playing some game. Probably RuneScape. And heard someone pull into the driveway. Naturally assuming it was my mother who was coming home from work. I heard the screen door open but when no one opened the lock on the actual door I started to go upstairs and I saw a pair of legs go by the window while the basement was underground. There was about a foot that popped up above ground level and had two windows. I go upstairs and see two dudes in my backyard looking at the windows and talking about the door was locked. It was an attempted home robbery. We had been broken into a few times at that point and had everything locked. But 10 year old me was terrified. Edit. Because you guys keep asking. They just left. Nothing happened. No home alone. I did not get killed. I am very much alive. There had been a scratching in my ceiling for a while. And my landlady was dragging her feet over having it looked into. One night. Around 2 AM. The scratching became so bad it woke me up from a dead sleep. I tried to reassure myself that whatever it was couldn't really get through to me. And I would be fine until I could call my landlady the next day and really press the issue. Then some debris fell from my ceiling. Whatever was up there had managed to dig a small hole into my room. I screamed. And heard some scurrying away from my approximate location. Grabbed any stuff I needed for the next day. Got the out of there. Shut the door tight behind me. And slept on the couch. I called my landlady first thing in the morning. And she had someone come while I was at work that day to check it out. A mama raccoon had managed to get her way into the space between the roof and my ceiling and had given birth to a litter of kits. The guy speculated that the kits were getting old enough to start wrestling around. 
and that was likely what led to the hole in my ceiling. Luckily it was just small, the size of a quarter. So there weren't any angry raccoons hanging out in my room when I got home. They were able to safely trap and release the whole little family. But I still started hunting for new apartments ASAP. I move into my new place on May 1st. Early teen years. Power went out while I was taking a shower late at night. I got out of the shower already freaked out and looked outside through the window. My house was the only one without power. Stupid teenage brain. This is clearly an attempt on my life reality. House had a weird problem where the power would cut out if the water heater and air conditioner happened to turn on the same time. It had never happened to me before that. But my dad assured me that was the problem once he finally came home. Just me and my mom. She got drunk and fell down the stairs. She knocked herself out cold and I had to administer CPR while the paramedics came. She has no recollection of this incident. Denies it. And no one else in my family can relate to how scary it is seeing someone almost die and having their life in your hands. I don't know how first responders do it. When I was around 8 or 9. My mum commuted to a major city about an hour per hour and a half away. So I would bring myself home from school, about 100 meters away. Lock the door and watch cartoons or play Neopets until she got home. We lived in apartment blocks. And one day one of the older male people in the apartment lost his wallet. And he figured it must have been me. Keep in mind, I've never stolen anything in my life or had any trouble with the law. And I had no clue what he was talking about. He came and banged on the door so aggressively that I jumped out of my skin. And was belligerent demanding I open the door. I rang mum crying and she jumped on a train to come home but she was an hour and a half away. She called some friends and they came and got me. And at that stage he had taken a break and gone back to his apartment. But left his dry cleaning there. When mum got back, she stormed straight to his door and pounded on it like he had done to our door. He came to the door. All shocked. And she demanded to know why he thought it was appropriate to bang on the door for an hour to scare a little girl. He replied that he thought I stole his wallet. Mum asked him if he still thought I did. And he said no I found it in the car park. She looked like she wanted to kill him. And forced him to apologize. Also. In that same apartment block. There was a hairline fracture on the sliding door that we didn't know about. A strong wind blew and shattered the entire window inwards. I was home alone then too. That was scary as. When I was younger my mom left me and my little brother home alone while she ran to the store. I was in middle school. So old enough to be left home safely for an hour and my bro was only two years younger. Mom leaves and me and my brother are watching TV in the living room and we see a bunch of smoke from the big bay window facing the front yard shortly after she leaves. We look. And a car has crashed into the ditch that is next to our driveway. I grab the phone and we go out on the porch. I call 911 and give them my address. Then I call my grandma and tell her what happened. Cops and the whole emergency entourage gets there. I go talk to the cops. Mind you. We lived on a state route. It's a two-lane road so the entire section of road in front of my house is closed off. My mom rounds the corner of the side road to pull onto the St. RT and sees a ton of cop cars in out driveway and shutting down the road. Two fire trucks. At least two ambulances. And, as any mom seeing this, freaks out. Note about the road in our house. The road is significantly higher than the ditch. So it is entirely possible to miss the wrecked car. Especially when you know you left your kids home alone. They allow her to park in the neighbor's driveway since ours is currently occupied. And we see her sprinting across the yards. The cops intercept her. She sees that me and my brother are okay and is able to calm down enough to talk to the cops. TLDR car crashed in our front yard when I was left home alone. Gave mom a heart attack from all the emergency vehicles surrounding her house when she tried to drive down the road. Police were chasing a guy and he ran into into our backyard and over the fence to another house. It felt like the helicopter was going to land on the house. Probably pretty lame compared to most stories on here. Was working pretty late, re. 2 a.m. on my computer when I get an alert from my security camera that detected motion. I checked it and there was a person staring into my apartment window in full view of where I was working. I closed the computer. Turned off the lights and went into the bathroom for a bit. 
Turns out being extra paranoid when someone is staring into your apartment at 2 a.m. isn't a good combination. I checked the camera memory and the guy was there for 20 minutes. Just real casual. Called the cops and the kid ran away and came back an hour later. Haven't seen him since.